and Nathan here from the Motherhood. Today we are going to be doing a March toy roundup of all the, the toys that we've been sent this month. We're going to do them as a little sort of round, post roundup video. So the first thing that Nathan wants to show you this month is... It's a labyrinth egg. This is a spider egg. Uh, so there is, I think, 12 in the series. They are puzzle eggs. Um, which have got a labyrinth maze inside, which you use the black stick, um, use black stick to uh, work your way through the maze, and they get harder and harder as they go along. So this is quite a hard one. This is like second from the end, I think, of the list. Um, yeah, back and do it. Eventually, right you managed to get it done, didn't you? It, yeah, took, it took some it. some doing. So, so it's a spider egg. You start at the top and you work your way to the bottom. Quite a nice little treat for Easter. Something alternate for giving us Easter presents as it's a gift that's gonna last. So, Although it looks a bit Halloween-y. This one it's does, it's yeah. This is a spider one. This is a spider egg. So you start at the top and you work your way down. And there's holes on other sides, so you've gotta work out where to go. Um, yeah. Yeah, right, okay, let's move on to something else. It's hard, but it's a great little toy for keeping in the car, keeping in your handbag. Um, it, it's on the move. There's no lots... I think I might do this. There's not lots and lots of parts everywhere that <laughs> can be lost. I'm a boss. And um, getting kids to time themselves doing it and also using their imagination of what it'll look like inside is a great idea. So that's the labyrinth spider egg that we got. So what's next, Nate? Uh, Star Monsters. Star Monsters. I think I've got half of that. <laughs> we were sent a load of the new pocket money toys called Star Monsters to review. We did try and do an unboxing video, but the camera just completely messed the whole thing up. So we're just going to have to show you them open already. So Star Monsters are small collectible figures. A bit like Mushy Monsters. A bit like other collectible toys these are the type of things that Nathan absolutely loves playing with so he was great he like had a great time with these yeah. so they come in different colors you can get four three of each different color um, and on the bottom of them uh, it, focus, it, has a num it has a number that one's number two and it will tell you on in the sticker book and the collection cards what they are, who they are and what they actually do. They evolve, they mutate into bigger and better ones as they go along and you also can get gold and silver ones. Focus! Focus! There we go. Um, you can get stickers. Stickers for the sticker book and also little there we go. Little collection, little stands for them. They come in varying different types of... And also you can, if you want to change it, you can take the sticker out, which is in there. Yeah, the cards pull out in here, you so can you can like, swap them over. And you can make like stadium by putting them all together. Yeah, these all stack together as well, they all clip together. They fold up to go away quite nice and neat. So they come in, focus camera, mm. when you purchase <laughs> Star Monsters, um, they come in either blind bags, um, like the normal type of um, mini bags, mm. they come with drawstring bags, or they come in capsule form. Um, and these are quite good for storing them all in. You can fit probably about 20 in one of these. These come in different colours as well. Um, and you've got these for taking them around as well. Now these are actually pocket money toys. And when I say pocket money toys, I really do mean that. They are only a pound for a blind bag. And in a blind bag, you normally get two. Two. And a sticker set. There's, yeah. So in the other ones, in in the capsules, these you get, you get about 
five. You get it? you get three, two or three, um, and you also get the stickers, and you get a stand as well. Um, that's about three pounds. Um, you can get a sticker album for them. You can get the um, collection book that tells you how they evolve. It's got games and all sorts in them, and that I think is under five pounds. So they really are proper pocket money toys so tooth fairy money all that sort of stuff can go on star monsters which are the new collectibles which are just coming out so what are we going to do next are we doing double 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 is another game that we got sent double okay if you haven't heard of double it is 50 symbols on 55 cards eight different symbols per card and always only one symbol. It says five games in one. Speed, observation, reflexes. Follow one mini game with another in a wild atmosphere. Two to eight players, ages six and up. I can explain. Because Nathan I've can explain it. it. Nathan's played, played this. It. I haven't had a go yet. So you go so ahead. So there's around about five or six games. Um, each card. Each card. There's around about 40 cards each card wait can i open it quickly mm -hmm. right so there's as we said there's 55 cards with eight symbols per card and there's only one identical symbol in common between each card and you have to work out with the power of deduction which one is linked yes so, yeah I've, I've just picked out two random cards um, focus. Okay, there's only one matching, and it is that eye there with that eye there. See if you look on. There's no other matching to compare to those. Okay, let's pull another one. Um, if I pull that one. That one is. Ooh. Ooh. The bomb. Yeah. <laughs> It, it looks okay. easy, but it's actually not, because, well, I don't know why. The lightning bolt. Yep. So you've got to be quick. You've got to look at them. It's for ages six um, plus. It's also... It takes around about 15 minutes. It's a 15 minute attention span game. So it's a, a short lived one. Um, so there's lots of... Second. So there's lots of mini games as well that you can play. Um, you can try and match different things um, and you jump from one game to another very quickly. Those are all the sim... Those are all the pictures in them. So... You can't match the colour, you can only match the symbol. Okay. And it comes in a nice little round tin. It's um, quite handy for taking out if you're going for a meal or something. It does sit in a handbag. Um, it's not a big game to take out with you. So. Can't express all. Um, cat. We have a cat coming in to say hello by the sounds of it. No. So, next one we've been sent is. Colt Express. <laughs> <laughs> I just chinned you, did I? Uh, right, it's one game of the year at uh, Cam's Game Festival last year. It, it is... It includes a 3D train. Yeah, a 3D robbery train. We haven't actually had a go at this yet. Um, it seems to take a while to get set up because you actually have all of the cardboard parts to build the train. Um, so from what I gather, it's a bit like Cluedo. Um, I've never played Cluedo. But with a train as well. So you've got to work out who the train robber is um, and find out. It sounds quite fun. It's There's the 132 cards, um, 6 train carts to be assembled, 10 terrain elements, 26 tokens, 6 bandits, 1 marshal. Right, okay. So the great thing with these games... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it shows you on the box the number of players, like normal, the age of the game, which is 10 plus, and also the time as well. So it this takes around about 40 minutes. 40 minutes play time, which is alright for a Sunday afternoon game. 
Um, so we will probably give that a go at some point. Um, probably when some of Nathan's friends come around so they can all join in. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time to get a set up. Um, just pull the lid off the box for me, Nath. What I liked about this when I opened it was I've, I've not seen it yet. the designers, the game designers, are actually... Christophine Ramid Book. There we go, come on. The game designers are listed inside the box as well. Don't stand on that. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. There we go, it's focused now. The game designers are also listed inside the box as well. There's some... There's and there's another one there, no, three. and three. another one there, so it tells you a little bit about them. Um, so you've got the instruction sheets, which is massive, and then you've got the... Yeah, you might need to pop some pieces out. Instruction sheets of how to put the train together, and then you've got all of your pop-out, die-cut cardboard, um, parts for your train and things there as well and your scenery so it looks like a quite complicated complex game but also really really fun so we've got the lid back for that let's put it away so we don't lose anything okay so the last one that we've been sent this month num noms that's it's focused <laughs> okay, these are more small collectible things. These are actually being released exclusively to Tesco on the 28th of March, and we've been given a special preview of them. So, these small little characters all stack together to make a combination of cupcakes or ice cream. Um, they're a recipe for mischief because on the back you can mix them all together all different types of flavours and make wonderful combinations and cocktails. And they smell. They do, they actually, they're scented. If this was smell -a vision you would be able to smell this box smells like a sweet shop. So um, we're just going to open them up. And I know what we could do, we could like take them out and the other person could sniff them. See I think so, tell. yeah. So I'm going to do a scent challenge. No, put the box down, don't, don't, don't go cheating, it's looking what the box are. Right, so, these are the nom noms, rubbery, it's still got the cap inside, so this hey, is rubbery, um, have a smell? Lemon. It is, it is lemon. Oh, ooh, very lemony. <laughs> it, Massage! It's uh, mechanical, it moves, and yeah, how do you turn it off, there you go, okay. Um, they're motorised, they... Move around. Maybe. Ooh, okay. Yep. That one's orange. Orangey. So there's They're lemon. very sickly sweet. Get out. Let's make I have the move one. This one. Oh. What's that? Raspberry, I think. Uh, leaning Tower of Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> leaning Tower of Nom Noms. I think you can turn the, the buzzy buzzy off. That's cool. Get out. So they're soft and squishy. They're not hard. So they're great for younger kids as well. Um, the only thing that I can think was if with younger kids, uh, where's the focus on this day? There it is. Um, with younger kids, they might be tempted to, to eat them. Um, Mammy. So, because they do smell quite nummy. Orange. Orange, yeah. So, wait. So, what are the options? It says orange, peach, lemon, and raspberry, I think that is. Well, it says. It's like. Purple. It's an, a, an orange one. shape, but it's that purple. One. I've never known a purple orange. So That's, maybe it's pomegranate. Pomegranates don't look like oranges. Um, they've got Facebook and Instagram as well, so we'll link up with them. Uh, this is sour citrus cupcake uh, pack. 
Um, there's cupcakes or ice creams. Neapolitan one sounds quite nice because I do quite like vanilla and chocolate flavours. So, they, um... <laughs> Nathan's having a head massage from a nom nom. Not ever something that I have thought I would say. Uh, so. They sit in their little Daddy. cupcake holder. And you get a spoon. So, obviously, if you really get hungry. <laughs> what do you think, eh? Good. They're quite cute. Um, obviously aimed more at the female market, Ta -da! Ta -da! more at the female market um, of younger girls, um, though Nathan does like small collectible things and did say that he wants them in his room to make his room smell lovely and sweet. Thank you for watching. This month we have reviewed five different toys that have been sent to us. We have reviewed the Labyrinth Spider Egg, Star Monsters, Nom Noms, Cult Express and Double. Um, we're going to have lots of fun playing with these over the next few weeks and getting more in depth into what actually um, takes place with them. Yes. Uh, Nathan's going to look forward to having a nice sweet smelling room that doesn't smell of boy socks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy playing double. I am Vicky and this is Nathan and you've been watching the toy review on the motherhood. <laughs>